Hi, this is Alex from cables.gl. I want to show you an awesome new feature in the PBR material. And the PBR material got a number of new features in the last update, but I think each one of them is quite uh, amazing and needs its own video. So uh, I actually want to sit down with um, a Majestic C flap who created this um, um, operator. He's a member of our community and just uh, overall uh, cables guru at this point, but uh, he added some awesome new stuff and uh, I hope we can sit down and talk about it a bit later. But what I'm going to show you today is uh, just a quickie about height map in PBR material. So height map you might know from other uh, 3D packages maybe as um, displacement maps or bump maps. It's I think in the same kind of category. Maybe even like vertex displacement map because uh, the way the height map works in PBR material in cables um, also takes into account the the camera angle and the, the viewers kind of position at, at how they're looking at an object. So um, before I make any crazy mistakes about how it actually works, let's just look at how to set it up, right? Uh, what do we want? We want a cool looking brick wall in this project. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple of them and then maybe some creative stuff uh, and maybe a real world kind of nice uh, space saving um, project application that I came up with. And uh, I just want to say the, the textures are from, uh, I think, HDR Haven, but uh, I'm going to um, link it below and... It's, a, again, an awesome resource to uh, try out all this um, cool texturing stuff with our PBR material. And uh, you might also notice that I have a point light here. And yeah, now PBR material reacts to the cable's lights. But anyway, we're going to talk about that later. What can we do here, right? We got a PBR material with diffusion, uh, some reflection maps plugged in, which for a brick wall, I guess, isn't... Uh, so interesting. And then we got normal maps and then this displacement map. And right now the height map um, or displacement map value uh, is zero. So we're not ha having any effect here on this wall. And I'm just going to turn on this animated uh, point light. And you can see like the, the effect of the, the separate bricks reacting to light looks quite cool thanks to the normal map, right? Um, however... For example, if we are going to be making a 3D room where we're going to walk around or let our user um, run around like in a game or something like that in first person or even third person, um, we will need to do something about this effect, right? Now that I'm close to the texture, to the wall, I'm looking around and even though there's some cool light effects on the normal map, it looks really, really flat, especially when I'm like right up against it like this. So this is where the height map comes to the rescue. And uh, I plugged in a number value into the port for the height map intensity. And I got this height map here. And let me show you how does a height map look. So this texture, it is a black and white uh, or lu luminosity map, right? That tells... Um, the PBR material that the white areas are higher than the ones that are dark. So here we have some bricks with um, missing bits and uh, some bricks have fallen out. So they have black um, representation in this texture. So we're expecting some sort of a dip in height there. And what I'm going to do is enable this now and I'm going to take it down. And now... Hopefully you can see this effect. Now that I'm rotating the camera around, I'm getting this effect that the bricks are sticking out from the wall. And it looks really, really cool. Uh, and of course, with the lights, it also looks quite nice. Again, thanks to the normal map. So the way you really should be using this height map feature is if you have a normal map. And um, the, the textures that I'm using here are professionally made. And, um, you know, they're, they're maybe even uh, deduced from depth map uh, or depth cameras or something like that, or maybe some sort of interaction between um, 
of more than one photo, you know, how they do 3D scans with uh, photogrammetry, things like that. So you get really nice uh, proper behavior of these bricks that are missing in this wall. And what I'm going to show you is, look, if you got a decent enough diffusion map, maybe you can kind of fake these textures and, and um, cables can do this dynamically, but of course you should probably uh, save out those textures and not um, have your users pay in performance for generating those on the fly all the time. So let's, um, let's move on to another example, right? Here is a really cool creative use of this height map feature. Uh, CFLAP made this and he is generating this kind of lava bubbling liquid um, texture with a noise map. And then that gets converted into a normal map here with a two normal map operator. Really cool. Um, and then the FBM noise is black and white, and that goes into the height. And we get a pretty cool effect of as if there is this glass orb with some sort of um, things happening underneath this clear layer uh, of the sphere. And look what happens when I unplug the hype map. It gets completely different, right? Especially this big um, sea or ocean of this gold uh, material. It, you can really tell that it doesn't look as good as it just did. So if we reconnect the hype map, we start to get this parallax effect. See, the, the black bits are gone. And now when we rotate the camera, it looks really cool as if this uh, liquid stuff is under some sort of shiny layer. And um, I think that's great for, for example, like mm, car materials or something like that. I know they have like a whole science behind them uh, and the whole like 3D industry built around uh, doing proper car materials. But... Um, I think even with height map, you can get like really cool like flex and and all this uh, stuff happening underneath a, a glossy waxed surface. Um, and yeah, let's see what it looks like with different values for the height map intensity. Yeah, pretty cool. So I highly recommend playing around um, not just in a with like real world uh, materials like this, but also try some creative weird uh, glitches and, and cool materials this way. Like we have in our 3D room that we made for the uh, June 2022 release, we have this material <laughs> painting on uh, um, in the room that is just animated um, hype map values. And it looks really trippy in, in some sometimes. And of course, it's reactive to the user uh, user's angle uh, of view. See, it's a really cool effect to play with. All right, let's, uh, I'll show you one more kind of real world um, example where I have this model from uh, Sketchfab of uh, a carved wooden um, Chinese box. Um, really cool model. It's a 3D scan actually. And uh, you get this wood carving on top of the model. And since it's a 3D scan, we can look at the wire map and, uh, or the uh, wireframe, and it's pretty insane, right? Like the model is about 10 megs. The texture is just um, this uh, diffusion map for, for the box. We don't have any normal maps. We don't have any height maps. Uh, and it's just this big JPEG uh, photo of the surface. And we still get a cool effect with the because I'm using a PBR material, I made the box shiny with, with just simply adding the low roughness to it. And because we have a lot of geometry on this model, we get some sort of relief going on. And uh, it looks pretty decent, right? But again, it's almost like a 12 megabyte download just for a cool little box. Um, not worth it, I think, because uh, if you are used to baking in things like Blender or other 3D apps, you can actually take that geometry 
um, and create normal maps from it, maybe even height maps with it, and then get uh, a super low poly um, model and then get a cool effect of, yeah, there's a relief going on and all that good stuff. So I didn't do the baking um, properly. I just made a box, I UV'd it, and then transferred the, the diffusion texture to it. And then from this diffusion texture, I used, again, cables operators to create a, a fake height map where I just used a desaturate and some levels to get, um, you know, uh, thanks to the photo being quite good, actually, um, or maybe even worn down on the places where the, well, where the the relief is taller than the the rest of the relief or <laughs> box, um, I'm able to generate this um, height map for the carving, and then I just make it into a black and white image, adjust it with some levels, and then save out the texture. Now I have this um, height map for my uh, box. And also, I made a, a AORM, the, as we talked about in another um, tutorial about how to make PBR uh, texture maps that are combined for this input port here, the AORM map, uh, ambient occlusion, reflection, and metalness. Um, yeah, I just generated that from an AO that I baked out in uh, Blender and just adjusted the levels a bit and then adjusted the... Um, settings for the reflection and the metalness with the combined textures operator. Super easy. So totally faked it, but the result is really cool because the height map actually does give a good effect. So if you're doing um, some sort of gallery of um, museum artifacts or something like that, and you want people to just like load up this project super fast and, and not wait uh, 10 minutes for it to download, you can get a really nice approximation of, yeah, this is a cool-looking carving um, of dragons on a box. And uh, one more bit about it. This is all web, um, WebMs or WebPs, I think. Yeah, WebPs, sorry. Uh, all the base color and normal and everything like that. The, the GLTF of the box is just a box. It's tiny. Um, it's basically just there for the, the UV map. And all this stuff combined is, I don't know, maybe maybe a megabyte or something like that. And these are still 4K textures. Like I, I didn't go totally, totally low um, and optimized for this. But I think maybe for a mobile project, maybe you do a, a guess that they're on a bad uh, connection or something like that. Maybe measure it in some cool way in your cables project and then knock down the the textures that you will be using. So you could use maybe 1K texture or something like that. But yeah, so um, this is about a, about two megs, you know, and it still, it still looks quite good compared to this one. So anyway, that's a um, very simple real world example of how you can use height map to get a good um, parallax effect of, for your um, camera view to get some sort of relief going on. And uh, let me just disconnect it for good measure. And we're kind of back to the normal map doing its cool thing with, uh, with the light, but in terms of nice parallax effect for the, for the hype map, you, you need a hype map. <laughs> so, all right, hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, try it out and look forward to our kind of Mm, interview slash discussion with Majestic C Flap Flap, who made PBR material much more interesting since the last release. Bye.